Welcome to the MTN News Update. I am Taylor Jules. United Way is the world's largest privately funded nonprofit organization, and the local high country United Way teamed up with Mountain Alliance, Children's Council of Watauga County, and Watauga County Parks and Recreation Department to celebrate the opening of a new Born Learning Trail at the Tot Law Playground. Here's what Executive Director Gary Childers had to say. There are stations all the way around the top lot, and they're identified by balloons. And we hope that after we get through with this, you'll go, each family will go with their children. And I've been seeing some people try them out. And it gives families a chance to have meaningful engagements in a, in a structured way with their children. The purpose of the trail is to promote early literacy and physical activity amongst our youth. It includes multiple stations around the playgrounds with instructions for activities that parents can enjoy with their children. The Watauga County Board of Commissioners voted unanimously Monday to enact a moratorium on all new Category 1 high-impact land uses, including asphalt plants, until July 31st. However, it's unclear whether the moratorium applies to the May Mead project in Deep Gap. High Country Watch will hold a second community meeting on Tuesday, June 23rd at 7 p.m. at the Watauga Humane Society Shelter to further discuss the proposed asphalt plant. Charles Cardwell, a 59-year-old male from Moxville, North Carolina, was arrested on Friday in Boone for one count of felony first-degree sexual exploitation of a minor, soliciting a child by computer, and indecent liberties with a child. A Boone police detective posed as a 14-year-old girl and responded to the personal ad that Cardwell had posted online, and once a meeting was arranged, Cardwell was apprehended. Cardwell's court date was set for June 23rd, and his conditions of release were set a $200,000 secured bond. In Boone Monday night, around 10.30 p.m., a man was struck by an SUV in the lot of High Country Condos. The injured man was taken to Otago Medical Center while the driver has been apprehended. Boone police are still investigating the incident. Hosted 6 to 9 p.m. every Friday night, Riverwalk Concert Series has returned to Newland to bring music, fun, and entertainment. This Friday, jazz music will be featured, located at the Riverwalk Park in Avery County. The concert is held weekly regardless of weather. A U.S. Supreme Court decision will determine whether or not federal health insurance marketplace enrollees in North Carolina, along with 33 other states, will continue to receive tax subsidies to lower their insurance premiums. If the government's ability to extend subsidies is challenged, millions of Americans could lose the tax credits that help lower their premium costs. The decision is expected by the end of June. On Saturday, many experienced power outages in the western Watauga area. It turns out the Blue Ridge Electric Membership Corporation spent more than four hours responding to this power outage that was caused by birds building a nest in a substation. The outage started at 6.27 p.m. and affected roughly 5,000 people until it was fixed the same night. In sports, junior Joseph Lauder and sophomore Charles Windish of the Ash County High baseball team were named the Mountain Valley 1A 2A Athletic Conference on Monday. Louder has a 1.63 earned run average, and he struck out 111 batters in 10 appearances this spring. Windish led the Huskies with a .429 batting average and scored 19 runs, with 8 runs batted in and 8 stolen bases. Director of, of Athletics Doug Gillen announced on Monday that Brittany Whiteside will join Appalachian State University's athletics staff as an Associates Athletics Director. In her role, Whiteside will serve as a member of the Athletics Department's executive team and be the sport administrator for various Appalachian State sports. This has been the MTN News Update. I am Taylor Jules. Thank you for watching.